Hey everyone, Joey here, and I got to check out Juzent, a game all about climbing from the developers at Don't Nod, known for titles like Life is Strange and Tell Me Why. Here you play as a climber trying to scale an immeasurable tower. The higher you climb, the more secrets you discover, and the world becomes unraveled in this mysterious and isolating adventure. Right now you're probably watching this gameplay comparing it to Uncharted or Assassin's Creed, but Juzent is more unique than that. The left and right triggers on the controller correspond with each hand, and you'll have to hold down one or both of the triggers to maintain a grip. You're also equipped with a rope and three anchors so you don't fall down. In fact, if there's a way to fall off, I haven't found it, because there are invisible walls on every edge that prevent falling, and the rope is automatically anchored during every climb. It can even be used to swing. There's no fear of dying in this game, but you are equipped with a stamina meter that will significantly slow you down if you don't stop to take a breath. As an enjoyer of climbing in video games, Juzent feels good to play, and though the controls are more involved than in a game like Uncharted, they're not overly complicated to the point of confusion. It's also not a fairly straightforward game, as the pathway isn't always so obvious. I spent an embarrassing amount of time in this spot right here, thinking I had to vault over this platform, when what I actually had to do was swing to the windmill behind me. Even though it took me a while, this was a great aha moment. There were times though when I was fighting the rope in this game, because you can run out of it if you climb too far. I assumed this was part of the puzzle solving, trying to figure out a route that would use the least amount of rope, but one of these challenges was completed by me doing the same thing over and over again until the rope decided to be long enough. I don't know why this is, and I was pretty confused. But what I found most interesting during my time with this demo was how it shook up the gameplay formula. About 20 minutes in, I was introduced to a cute new companion with a mystical ability to alter plant life within a certain radius. With this, I was able to grow giant vines to reach new heights and spawn more grips in the walls. The gameplay was shaken up further when I arrived at the second biome of scorching hot temperatures. Here my stamina depleted faster due to the heat, and some plants exposed to sunlight would burn up in seconds. There's even these cool bugs you can grab that'll take you where they're going. If all of this was just in the opening two hours, I can't wait to see what's introduced in the next few biomes. Juzent has been described as a meditative experience, and I can definitely understand that since there's really no way to fall to your death in this game. Although I wouldn't say it's particularly relaxing, as there were some puzzles that frustrated me, usually involving that darn rope. But again, overcoming these challenges is part of the fun. If you need a moment to relax, however, there are some points you can find that'll pause the game over some relaxing scenery and ambiance in the area. Yeah, the graphics and art style are beautiful, with some calming music to boot. What I'm really intrigued by in Juzent, though, is its story. There's no dialogue, but there are collectible letters you can find from a lost civilization that lived on the edges of this tower. They wrote about their loved ones, what working there was like, as well as what might have happened leading up to their disappearance. That's what I really want to know more about, including why the protagonist is scaling this tower in the first place. After playing this preview, I'm looking forward to checking out the final game when it launches on October 31st for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. It's even coming to Game Pass. And if you liked what you saw here, you can check out a new demo on Steam that just came out, which will let you play the first 45 minutes. I know I'll have to replay my preview demo as well to check out the alternate pathways I missed. So let me know what you think, and until next time, bye bye